This is the Daily Pulse. I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. We are on day seven of a 10 day series on newness, you know, the new year and, and just different scripture passages that speak about or imply the word new. And it's very exciting as we're coming into the new year of 2016. Today's episode is entitled A New Heart. And this is Ezekiel, and he's ministering to, you know, right now, you know, Judah and Benjamin are getting ready, you know, the tribes are getting ready from ancient Israel, getting ready to be taken to Babylon. And there's much fear and trepidation. And, and basically, the prophets have been saying, surrender to King Nebuchadnezzar. The judgment has come. And King Nebuchadnezzar is, is actually, even though he's a pagan, and we're not sure if he died a pagan or not, but what we do know is God uses all people to accomplish his purpose. And it's fascinating, a whole other subject in itself. But Ezekiel is calming them and saying, hey, God's going to take you out of the nations. He's going to bring you back into your homeland. And he uses the word here in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You know, and, and the, the heart that they're talking about here is, of course, our spiritual heart, the center of emotions. And taking away a heart of stone, in other words, a, a, a tone-deaf heart, a heart that's not focused on Jesus Christ. In this case, God's saying, I'm going to give you a new heart that's going to turn towards me. I'm going to take you out of your old ways, put you in the new ways, ways of serving me, Jesus. And I do want to dedicate this specific episode to my brother Darren Carson, my brother from another mother. And I would ask you to continue to keep Darren Carson in your prayers. Darren is sitting at Duke Hospital now through a very scary situation, almost lost him. In fact, he had coded for a number of minutes, but God chose to keep him here. And Darren is waiting right now on a heart and a kidney. And how that works out, if indeed it works out, you know, we're going to trust God because I'm, I'm trusting that it is going to work out. You know, God, it, through his perfect plan, is going to find a way, you know, whether it's here on earth or perfectly in heaven. And, and Lord, you know what we're praying for in here. So, Darren, I'm talking to you directly right now. I love you, brother. You know, that new heart that we're waiting on for Darren, you know, yes, it's a physical heart, but more broadly, you know, the heart that Darren has for Christ is a heart that will never fail and never can be taken away. A new heart aimed for Jesus Christ. In his name, Lord. Newness. Amen.